Denmark is the way to go if you wish to go to one of Europe's most peaceful and happy countries. Denmark isn't the largest country, but its landscapes, castles, and historic towns will blow you away. So, stay with us to learn about the top places to visit in Denmark. You won't regret it. However, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe now so you don't miss out on our videos. This will not cost you anything but will be a big help to us in maintaining this channel. Now, let's get started. Starting off the list at number 10 is Ribe. Picture Perfect Tribe is the oldest settlement in all of Denmark, whose origins may be traced back to the 9th century. Therefore, the saying you're not getting old, you're getting better is very fitting. The city's sloping cobbled streets and small lanes, ice cream colored cottages, and shaky network of red brick buildings are all reminders of a history and wind with legends of Viking raids and a medieval trade boom. One of the country's most elegant Romanesque structures, the Ribe Cathedral, rises majestically from the town center. And after you've filled yourself with Ribe's rich history and culture, the city's many great eateries, specialty breweries, and candy stores will be waiting. Next at number 9 is the Msklint. One of the most beautiful and well-known places in Denmark is only a two-hour drive from the city's capital. On the eastern coast of the Danish island of Klint is a popular place for nature lovers who want to dive in the Baltic Sea or walk through an old forest. Here, even history buffs will be amazed by the 70 million year old fossils. When people visit the ancient beach at the base of the cliffs, they can't help but look up and at the 6 kilometer chalk cliffs that rise 128 meters above the sea. Klinteskaven, a beach forest with unusual plants and rare animal species, grows on the top. This Clint is a great place to go whether you like the sea or the mountains. It has a lot of different kinds of land. So, more than 200,000 tourists who want to spend their vacations in nature go here every year. Next in line at number 8 is Elsinore. Elsinore, also known as Helsinger, is home to one of the world's most famous castles, Kronborg, which served as the location for Shakespeare's Hamlet. For 80 years, the play has been performed here yearly, though a fortification and a chapel surrounded by convents were established a century earlier. The old medieval fishing community was founded in the 15th century. It is today a thriving port city. The Maritime Museum, the castle, and the statue of Holger Dansk, a legendary character who fought alongside Charlemagne, are all must-sees. Coming in at number 7 is Alborg. Another old Danish city, Alborg, has developed into a modern industrial and cultural hub throughout the years. It is a unique post-industrial hub, sprawling over the shores of the picturesque Lymph George Sound. Its urban core is adorned with a string of well-known half-timbered homes. During school season, the city's colleges see a rush of young people who bring a burst of youthful energy and constant talk to the waterfront promenade and the winding streets of Jomfru and Gade the longest party street in all of Scandinavia. The people of Jutland, who live in Alborg, are recognized for their participation in the city's annual carnival, one of the largest in Northern Europe, featuring costumed revelers, live bands, and plenty of beer. Next at number six is Roskilde. Roskilde, one of Denmark's oldest capitals, is located 30 kilometers west of the country's capital. It is one of Denmark's oldest cities and the final resting place of many monarchs. Their royal tombs are located in the 12th century Roskilde Cathedral, Scandinavia's first brick Gothic cathedral. The Viking Ship Museum, the home of five Viking ships that sank to protect Roskilde from maritime invasions, is another major attraction. The Viking Ship Museum in Roskilde offers visitors a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to observe firsthand how the Vikings built their ships and how current shipbuilders are restoring and repairing the vessels that have been discovered. The high-tech climb aboard experience immerses visitors in life aboard a Viking ship and is one of the museum's newest features. This interactive experience includes costumes for those who want to completely engage themselves, as well as the chance to explore the ship's quarters and supplies, and even experience sensory changes as the journey takes you through day and night, stormy seas and calm, and all kinds of weather. Before we continue with the list, please subscribe and hit the like button. 
It really helps us to bring you more content. And please don't forget to turn on the notification icon so you won't miss out on any of our travel videos. Let's continue with number 5, Skagen. Skagen shines brightly against the dark blue-gray of the North Sea, with its rows of terracotta roof cottages and painted timber buildings. Artists and writers have long been drawn to Denmark's northernmost town, which is known for its picturesque setting between the Jutland beaches and dunes and its refreshing climate. As seen by the town's lone old lighthouse, Skagen has a long history with the sea. Its reputation as a haven for creative minds has been cemented by the proliferation of art galleries and boutiques selling glassware, pottery, and other handmade goods along the beachfront rows and St. Laurenti Bay Street. Here, you can try some herring caught in the waters around Skagen, where the Baltic and North Seas meet. Next at number 4 is the Faroe Islands. The Faroe Islands, which rise like massive, Petrified boulders where the Norwegian sea meets the north are the stuff of tales. Their shorelines are incredibly sculpted and sheer cut, formed by plunging waterfalls and covered with lush green vegetation. While the northern lights dance above, wild fishermen's taverns and pubs tick over to the signature local folk shanties. And due to its Gulf Stream's ability to moderate temperatures on land and at sea, it serves as a magnet for a wide variety of marine animals, such as seals, whales, and a wide variety of fish. Bird watchers can see some species that call this area home, and anglers can throw their hooks in the beautiful waterways. The trip's highlight is a boat ride to the Vestmina Bird Cliffs. During the summer, the Faroe Islands host many music festivals that attract thousands of people. Despite being partially Danish, these Iceland's otherworldly and remote appearance never fails to elicit a gasp. Coming in at number 3 on the list is Odense. Odense, the largest city on Finnan Island, is most famous as the birthplace of the Danish author Hans Christian Andersen. Despite the abundance of tributes to what is often regarded as the world's preeminent author of children's fairy tales, there is much more to enjoy in this picturesque community. Street after street of tasteful low-rise Scandinavian dwellings, cobblestone squares in the old quarter, and creaking timber windmills on the outskirts of town may all be found here. Odin Zoo is still the greatest in the country, and the city also boasts a thriving student population, several eateries, and vibrant nightlife. Next at number two on the list is Aarhus. To help you blend in with the locals, it's pronounced Aarhus rather than Aarhus. Aarhus is a fantastic spot if you're looking for Danish design. It's one of the best shopping areas in Scandinavia, and a stroll through the quaint Latin Quarter is a must, not least for the ambience. Aarhus shopping trips will also take you to two fantastic city observation locations. Aarhus has also been an important commercial hub for centuries and has a thriving music scene. A global jazz festival lasting eight days is held annually in the city. The city's architecture spans from the Viking era to the present day, making it a fascinating place to explore. The inner city is where you'll find the oldest, best-preserved homes. And now, the number one on the list is no other than Copenhagen. It's no surprise that Copenhagen consistently scores high in polls of the world's best cities. Its size undoubtedly helps as it is large enough to offer world-class museums, restaurants, and attractions while remaining tiny enough to make them easily accessible. Then there's its uncanny ability to blend retro and relaxed vibes. One minute you're strolling along a cobbled street with roses and hollyhocks growing out of the pavement in Indrabite or Christian's Hahn. The next, you're discovering angular 21st century architecture along the revitalized waterfront while you can stroll through festive streets hung with fairy lights and get your hook dose in quiet, candle-lit cafes during winter. There's excellent design around every corner, the food scene is thriving, and almost everyone knows English. The Danes value the quality of life, showing that Copenhagen is a city success story that works for both people and tourists. There's never a dull moment in this genuinely bucketless city. That's it for now. Denmark has repeatedly been called the world's happiest country, and now you know why. These are just a few places in Denmark that you can visit. But, believe me, there is still much to see in Denmark. If you like this video, 
please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.